Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a quick video taking a look at who the latest acquisition for the Padres is, Xander Bogarts. So just a quick look at his stats, a 307 average, 377 on base percentage. One of the big reasons I think Preller went for Bogarts is for his slugging. At 456, that would actually have been the second highest on the Padres had Bogarts played for them in 2022, uh, only behind Manny Machado. Um, 6.1 war. Uh, I was really uh, interested by his BABIP 362. So the way BABIP kind of works is it's the batting average for balls in play. And the league average is about 300. And so any BABIP that is significantly lower or higher can kind of indicate that a player is either getting unlucky if it's lower or lucky if it's higher. So if they, you know, hit a, a couple pitches off the end of their bats and they kind of squib 10 feet and the pitcher can't get it, scored a hit, that counts towards their average. It's not a great hit, right? So BAB is kind of a way to kind of um, statistically look for that. What I found interesting, though, is that Bogarts actually has a career BABIP of 330, which is pretty significantly higher than the league average. And so his 362 does kind of indicate that his average might drop a little bit when he starts playing for the Padres next year, uh, but probably not too much. A uh, good, solid defensive year with... Uh, 4.9 UZR, 5 outs above average, and 134 weighted runs created plus, which means he was about 34% better than the average Major League Baseball player at creating runs. Now a quick look at his stat cast data. All of these are in percentiles. Uh, so if we take a look at his outs above average in the bottom left, you see it's 88th percentile, meaning he was better than 88% of other major leaguers in that stat cast category, which is very good. And one thing to kind of note is that he had a very good defensive year in 2021, and his previous years were not as good. So he made some adjustments. Something happened last year where he really picked up his defensive play. Uh, something to kind of keep in mind with that is his arm strength is quite low. 29th percentile is very low for arm strength for a middle infielder. Um, other than that, you kind of look at his um, like average exit velocity. 35th percentile is a little lower than I would have expected uh, given his slugging. Other than that, though, he is a fairly like above average hitter. Uh, according to StatCast, which is fantastic for the Padres. I also sometimes find it easier to compare a new player who I'm not super familiar with with a player that I am familiar with. So that's what I've done here for the, some of the basic stats is compare Bogarts to Machado, who I'm and you are, I'm sure, much more familiar with. And you can see that he is pretty comparable um, you got slightly better batting average, slightly better on base percentage. Manny's got significantly more slugging, more war. Um, I did take a look at Manny's BABIP as well. And Manny's career BABIP is 307, which like I said, 300s or about 300 is league average. So I also would not expect, or I would not be surprised to see Machado have a little bit dip in his average and on base percentage. Um, in 2023. And same with Bogarts, although his BABIP is, uh, over his career, higher. You can see the uh, weighted runs created plus, a pretty big difference between Machado and Bogarts. Of course, Machado really should have been uh, MVP and a uh, fantastic year. I also found it pretty interesting. Manny's pretty well known for his defense. UZR, he's got a negative 0.8, which is pretty bad. Uh, for someone who's considered a very good defender, um, although outs above average is much kinder to Manny. But, uh, and I know, you know, Bogarts is, is a shortstop, Manny's third base, so it's not a direct comparison, but it should give you some sense of like the kind of quality defense that Bogarts played last year. 
I also kind of have been thinking about where Bogarts is going to play. I think Bogarts is very clearly an upgrade uh, offensively. Defensively, you know, you've got Tatis, you've got Kim, and then you've got Bogarts all at that shortstop position. Of course, we don't have a first baseman right now as of this video, so I wouldn't be shocked if uh, Cronenworth slid over to first base and either Bogarts or Kim or Tatis, one of those three played second and then short. I also think this could be a little bit of preemptive kind of insurance from Preller in case Manny Machado decides to opt out of his contract with the Padres next year. You would have, you know, three players who could possibly fill that role should Manny not come back to the Padres after next season. And that's really the big question right there, right? Where Bogarts is going to play. So leave a comment with where you think he's going to play for the Padres in 2023. Thanks for listening.